<clears throat> well, uh, uh, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, greetings from Isro. Uh, well, at the outset, I take take this opportunity uh, to congratulate uh, all the participants uh, who are joining uh, this uh, hallmark event, uh, Mapathon, uh, using Indian remote sensing data sets and open source solutions. Uh, I thank AICT and, in particular, uh, IIT Bombay, uh, Professor Kanan, uh, for giving us this opportunity and also collaborating with the ISRO uh, for this uh, mammoth event. Uh, well, as you may know, that uh, Indian Earth observation capability uh, basically comprises of a fleet of uh, satellites uh, providing valuable services for uh, resource monitoring, infrastructure planning, uh, cartography, large scale mapping, disaster monitoring, meteorology, oceanography, and so on. And these satellites uh, contribute immensely. Uh, to the big uh, geospatial uh, data sphere uh, by providing rich voluminous data. And these data sets are utilized uh, to unearth uh, valuable insights, information extraction, and planning and uh, decision making. Over the years, of course, ISRO has uh, operationalized uh, many uh, national level, state level, and region uh, specific level uh, operational applications basically to address uh, the national imperatives as well as the fundamental priorities of the government. There are many examples uh, like uh, food security in terms of agricultural crop inventory. Uh, we provide the uh, advanced you know, uh, forecast before the harvest, how much production will be there in the country in terms of food grains and also in terms of horticultural crops. Uh, then uh, we contribute to water security through water resource information system and providing the groundwater prospect information uh, for the country. Similarly, forest working plants, uh, inventory and monitoring of glacial lakes, contributing to climate, and there are many more uh, applications, uh, including, of course, the energy sector, uh, which is very <clears throat> vibrant now. Also, also ISRO has deployed uh, several uh, geo portals, many of which you may be aware about the Bhuvan, MOSDAC, Vedas, and uh, the NESDR, uh, specifically dedicated to the northern, northeastern region of India. And these portals are basically delivering the remote sensing products, application, and services, and they reach out to user community. And these portals also provide wealth of uh, data, including the time series, satellite information, various thematic layers, which uh, ISRO has been generating uh, over the years with uh, the help of user community. Uh, ISRO you know, places a very great importance, uh, basically, to partner uh, with the uh, academia and to work closely uh, with the academia and the student community uh, for developing innovative solutions and ensuring uh, the best of the solutions for the problem. And I think in this regard, uh, this um, uh, Mapathon, which is a joint effort of IIT Bombay, ISRO and AICT, it will provide a, a platform uh, to join hands in leveraging the uh, potential of the uh, Earth observation data from the fleet of Indian satellites. Uh, couple them with the advanced technology, open source solutions, and provide uh, you know a lot of uh, tools uh, which requires now the automation, uh, basically to address the uh, timely delivery of many of the services. So <clears throat> you will come to know in the later part of the uh, today's uh, talks that we have identified the ten uh, problem statements uh, for the user community uh, and particularly the students, uh, wherein we expect that. You know, they really utilize the potential of your data and also use uh, their innovative skills and their technological uh, skills uh, to provide uh, the problems, uh, whatever we given, they provide the best solutions uh, for them. Uh, some of them, of course, you know, we have selected the uh, problem statements like you have the land use, land cover change. As you know, the land use is the basic uh, planning unique for any uh, planning, any developmental planning in the country. Uh, basically, you need a land use map. So how you really automate them, how you really uh, find out the change, how it has happened in the land use uh, over the years. Similarly, how you automatically generate the flood maps. Because wherever the disaster struck, uh, our idea is basically to de deliver the information maybe uh, within, uh, within an hour. Uh, so how automatically you derive uh, the flood layer uh, from the satellite imagery. Similarly, how you address the locust problem, which you have seen uh, quite recently. If you have the problem of air quality, uh, particularly the residue burning uh, in the northern area and the pollution in Delhi, 
there are many uh, challenging uh, tasks but the idea overall idea is that uh, you have the lot of information available from the satellites uh, we do also have the operational techniques but how really we automate these techniques so that you know you run a particular algorithm or run a particular model and you uh, get the output at the fastest uh, time uh, so that you know the information can reach the needy uh, at the earliest so <clears throat> i urge all the participants Uh, to make best use of these data sets which are available you will come to know uh, how these data sets will be provided to you uh, from the isro uh, geo portals and couple them with your innovative skills and bring out the solutions of course keeping the uh, sustainable development goals uh, in the view uh, so <clears throat> i will not take much time because you have many interesting uh, you know uh, talks to be covered and particularly uh, uh, professor penan will be talking about the Uh, QGIS and the Mapathon, and also about the FOSI, uh, which uh, you will be uh, really utilizing uh, those uh, tools uh, for developing the uh, solutions. So I, I sincerely uh, thank all the participants uh, and wish that they really come out with good skills. And it is quite possible uh, that once these uh, skills are demonstrated, uh, it is quite possible that many of those skills uh, we would like to uh, utilize uh, and automate on our uh, geo portals in Israel. so thank you very much uh, thank you sir uh, for the wonderful speech